Welcome to Preserving the Pantry, where I talk about everything related to food preserving. I am your host, Kathy Burgett. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the pantry. I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you today that's perfect for this time of year during the holidays, but really it's a great recipe that you can make all year long. This is a recipe for cookies, and it's a different type of cookie than you've ever had. It's for carrot cookies. Now, it's not like carrot cake at all. Totally different than that. But this is a delicious, soft cookie that tastes like orange. You wouldn't even know carrots are in there. In fact, most people think it's an orange cookie because the cookie itself has kind of an orangish hue from the carrots. And then this cookie is topped with an orange glaze made with fresh squeezed orange juice and orange zest. And that's all you really taste. So people's minds are blown when they find out it's actually carrots in there that's making that orange hue. And it's the orange flavor from the fresh orange that's adding all of that flavor. So these are a really delicious cookie that I want you to give it a try. This cookie recipe comes from my mom. She always made these growing up. She was well known for her carrot cookies. Again, though, people never knew what was in there. So thanks, mom, for this recipe. Now, back in episode 10, I shared with you my method for canning carrots, and I use those carrots in this carrot cookie recipe. You can use fresh carrots, of course. It just takes a little bit longer because you have to boil those carrots until they're soft, and then you have to mash them, and then you have to wait for them to cool. So by using my home canned carrots, I've eliminated a huge step here, one step ahead, and I'm using what I've canned in my own pantry. For this recipe, you are going to be using one cup of cooked mashed carrots. And remember, if you're cooking them, you need to have them cooled before you can use them. Three quarters cup of granulated sugar, one cup of butter that's softened, and I use salted butter. One egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. The glaze, and don't even think about leaving this glaze off because it is what makes these cookies amazing. The glaze has one and a half cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of orange juice, and one tablespoon of grated orange rind or zest. So what you're going to do to start with is you're going to, in a mixing bowl, blend your butter and your sugar together and cream it for a few minutes until it's nice and fluffy. Then add your vanilla and your egg and mix until that's well combined. Next, you're going to add those mashed carrots and mix that in. And then you'll add your flour, baking powder, and salt. Add that to the dough and mix it all well. I then typically take a heavy-duty spatula and I really get into that mixing bowl and make, make certain that everything is well combined. You're going to refrigerate your dough for at least one hour. So what I do is I take a piece of plastic wrap and I put it right down on the surface of that dough and put the bowl and the dough right into the refrigerator for at least one hour. You could refrigerate it overnight too if you wanted to. When you're ready to bake those cookies, you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you will prepare your baking sheet, and I like to use parchment paper on my baking sheets. I like how easy it is to clean up, but the cookies don't stick to that um, the paper or the cookie sheet at all just makes for a really nice, easy way to bake cookies. You don't have to use the parchment paper though. So if you don't have parchment paper, you can just lightly spray your baking sheet with a nonstick spray. You're going to create small balls of dough. I like to use a small cookie scoop and form those into balls and place them on your baking sheet. You could also just use a spoon and scoop up an amount and then roll that into your hands into a ball and place on your baking sheet. The cookies will bake for 12 to 15 minutes. When they come out of the oven, let them cool for a minute, then remove them from the tray and place them on a cooling rack, a baking rack, so until they're fully cool. And then you're going to add that glaze. So for the glaze, all you do is combine the powdered sugar, your orange zest, and the orange juice, and you mix those until it's very smooth. 
If it just seems a little too thick, you can add just a tad more orange juice in there. And then you just drizzle that over the top of your cookies. You can also take your cookie and invert it and just dip it right into that glaze, put it back on the baking rack, and you're going to let that glaze set up. These are truly a delicious cookie, unlike one I bet you've never had before. So I want you to give these cookies a try, and after you make them, I need you to let me know what you thought. That's it for today, everyone. I'll see you next time in the pantry. Bye. Thanks for listening, and be sure to tune in again next week for more episodes of Preserving the Pantry. 